The first secret to early retirement might seem obvious, but it's amazing how many people overlook it. Start small. You don't need to make drastic changes overnight. Focus on making small, sustainable adjustments to your lifestyle and finances. If you can save an extra $5 a day, that's an extra $150 a month. Over a year, that's $1,800. And over 10 years, that's $18,000 plus any investment growth. So, where can you start cutting back? Could you make your coffee at home instead of buying it every day? Could you eat out one less time per week? Could you find a cheaper cell phone plan? The key is to find areas where you can cut back without feeling deprived. Remember, every dollar you save is a dollar that can be invested and working towards your early retirement goal. So what small change are you going to make today? Now that you're thinking about starting small, let's talk about the bigger picture. Being intentional with your finances is crucial for long-term success and peace of mind. This means taking a hard look at your income, your expenses, and your overall financial goals. It's about understanding your financial landscape. The foundation of being intentional with your finances is creating a budget. A budget is your financial roadmap. Budgeting doesn't have to be scary or restrictive, in fact it can be quite liberating. It's simply about understanding where your money is going and making sure it's aligned with your values and goals. This alignment is key to financial well-being. There are tons of budgeting methods out there so find one that works for you. Whether it's the envelope system, zero-based budgeting or the 50-30-20 rule, there's something for everyone. You can use a budgeting app, a spreadsheet, or even just a simple notebook. The tool you choose should fit your lifestyle and preferences. The important thing is to track your income and expenses so you can see where your money is going. This visibility is crucial for making informed decisions. Once you have a clear picture of your cash flow, you can start making adjustments to align with your goals. This might involve reallocating funds or cutting unnecessary expenses. If you're serious about early retirement, you'll need to prioritize saving and investing. This means setting aside a portion of your income regularly. That might mean making some tough choices like cutting back on discretionary spending or finding ways to increase your income. Every little bit helps. But remember, it's not just about saving money, it's about making your money work for you. This is where investing comes into play. Investing is one of the most powerful tools you have for building wealth and achieving financial freedom. It allows your money to grow exponentially over time. There are many different ways to invest, so it's important to do your research and find an approach that aligns with your risk tolerance and financial goals. Whether it's stocks, bonds, real estate, or mutual funds, each has its own set of benefits and risks. The sooner you start, the more time your money has to grow. Remember, the journey to financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. Start today and stay committed to your goals. Chapter 3. Take advantage of tax-advantaged accounts. Let's talk taxes. Understanding how to leverage tax-advantaged accounts can make a significant difference in your financial future. Minimizing your tax burden is crucial for early retirement. The less you pay in taxes, the more you can save and invest for your future. That's where tax-advantaged accounts come in. These accounts are designed to offer tax benefits that can help you grow your retirement savings more efficiently. These are accounts specifically designed to help you save for retirement and potentially reduce your tax bill. They come in various forms, each with its own set of rules and benefits. One of the most common types of tax-advantaged accounts is a 401k. This is an employer-sponsored retirement plan that allows you to contribute pre-tax dollars. This is an employer-sponsored retirement plan that allows you to contribute pre-tax dollars. By contributing pre-tax dollars, you lower your taxable income for the year, which can lead to significant tax savings. This reduces your taxable income, which can lead to significant tax savings. Additionally, many employers offer matching contributions, which is essentially free money added to your retirement savings. Your money grows tax-deferred within the account, meaning you won't pay taxes on any investment earnings until you withdraw the funds in retirement. This allows your investments to compound more effectively over time. Another great option is a traditional IRA. You can open a traditional IRA with a brokerage firm or a bank, and you can contribute pre-tax dollars, just like with a 401k. You can open a traditional IRA with a brokerage firm or a bank, and you can contribute pre-tax dollars, just like with a 401k. This can be particularly beneficial if you don't have access to a 401k through your employer. If you're serious about minimizing your tax burden in retirement, consider a Roth IRA. 
With a Roth IRA, you contribute after-tax dollars, meaning you don't get an upfront tax deduction. With a Roth IRA, you contribute after-tax dollars, meaning you don't get an upfront tax deduction. However, your money grows tax-free and you won't owe any taxes on qualified withdrawals in retirement. However, your money grows tax-free and you won't owe any taxes on qualified withdrawals in retirement. This can be a huge advantage, especially if you expect to be in a higher tax bracket when you retire. By strategically using these accounts, you can maximize your savings and minimize your tax burden, setting yourself up for a more secure and enjoyable retirement. Chapter 4. Live Below Your Means This is one of the most fundamental principles of building wealth and achieving financial freedom. It's a mindset that can transform your financial life. It's about making conscious choices about your spending and resisting the urge to keep up with the Joneses. Instead of focusing on what others have, focus on what truly matters to you. Living below your means is not about deprivation. It's about freedom. It's about finding joy in the simple things and appreciating what you have. It's about having the financial security and flexibility to pursue your passions, your dreams, and your goals without being held back by financial constraints. Imagine being able to take that dream trip or start that passion project without worrying about money. So how do you actually live below your means? It starts with being mindful of your spending and understanding where your money goes. It starts with being mindful of your spending. Track your expenses for a few months and identify areas where you can cut back. Track your expenses for a few months and identify areas where you can cut back. Look for patterns and habits that can be adjusted. Do you really need that daily latte? Small changes can add up to significant savings over time. Can you cook at home more often instead of eating out? Home-cooked meals are not only healthier but also much cheaper. Once you've identified areas where you can cut back, start setting yourself some spending limits. Create a budget that reflects your priorities and stick to it. The key is to be realistic and stick to your limits. It's about creating sustainable habits that will benefit you in the long run. Remember, every dollar you save is a dollar that can be invested and working towards your early retirement goal. The more you save, the closer you get to financial independence. Chapter 5. Rethink your definition of retirement. For the final secret, let's shift our perspective a bit. What if I told you that retirement isn't just about quitting your job and playing golf all day? What if it's about something much bigger, something more meaningful? Retirement isn't just an event that happens at a certain age, it's a state of mind. It's about achieving financial independence, where you have the freedom to design your life on your own terms. Imagine waking up every morning without an alarm clock, free to spend your day however you choose. Maybe you want to travel the world, start your own business, volunteer your time to a cause you care about, or simply spend more time with loved ones. The possibilities are endless. Rethinking your definition of retirement is about finding your why. Once you have a clear understanding of your why, you can start aligning your financial goals and your lifestyle choices with your vision for the future. In summary, these five secrets, starting small being intentional with your finances utilizing tax-advantaged accounts living below your means, rethinking your definition of retirement, can truly revolutionize your path to financial freedom and early retirement. Remember, it's not just about the money. It's about living life on your own terms and having the freedom to pursue your passions and interests. Thanks for watching. And now I want to hear from you. What are your retirement goals? What strategies are you using to achieve them? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single one. Until next time, keep crushing it.